hi guys so my name is destiny Shell. welcome back to my channel today's video hi guys welcome back to my channel as you guys know or for those who don't know my name is destiny Shell. hey boo <laughs> i do not act like this <laughs> but um yeah today's video is going to be an overview of your first semester of the pre-med program here at Xavier specifically for bio majors so if you guys see me looking down it's because I have my phone balancing my tripod and I have notes on my phone so there's that the first thing I want to get into is the course outline for your first semester so the classes that you can expect to take while here at Xavier your first semester are as follows okay we got foundations of biology one biology one biology lab one General Chemistry 1, General Chemistry Drill 1, General Chemistry Lab 1, any type of elective which can range from a communications class, a history class, theology, sociology, um, basically any class that will satisfy your core requirements here at Xavier, core requirements being like, you know the classes that you need to take in order to graduate, so any one of those, English and then freshman seminar. Alright, so first Foundations of Biology 1. It's basically the foundations of biology. Like you start from the bottom and go up. And if you look on the course catalog, it says, a broad introduction to the field of biology with a focus on reading, comprehension, data organization, data analysis, and mathematical and computer applications. It's required for biology majors. So basically what we do in that class, it's a wide variety of things. And I mean, it varies per week. You only take it once a week and it's two hours long. But one thing that I do enjoy about the class is that what I'm learning in there also ties in with what I'm learning in biology and also chemistry. So I mean, if I'm not understanding something in one class, because everything is so universal, because it was so universal, especially towards the beginning, what I learned in this class helped with what I was doing with that class and you know, vice versa. So there's that. So then general biology one says basic biological principles and concepts as they apply to all levels of organization. So, I mean, biology is basic biology. We started with, you know, cells, the, um, all the different aspects of living things. And then from there, we moved on to biological membranes, like your lipids and stuff like that. And then now we're in cellular respiration. We'll go to photosynthesis after. And then basically the um, structure of mammals, I think, is how we're going to end off the semester. I'm not quite sure. I can do an update video if y'all would want to see that. But that's basically what biology is at this point. Like, they start you from the bottom, and then they will build you up. And I mean, Xavier basically does that because they know that the schools around this area, especially where a lot of kids come from, they don't get as much funding as other schools around the world where other students may come from. So they start you from the bottom and bring you up so that everybody can basically be at the same level. So next you got general biology lab. Basically, you'll be learning the same things as you learn in general biology one at the same pace, but the only difference is you'll be doing experiments with them. For example, um, in bio lecture, we were learning about the different structure of the cells, you know, prokaryotic, eukaryotic, the different organelles. And then that week in bio lab, we did an experiment with cheek cells and plant cells and, you know, just comparing the differences. So next we have general chemistry one. It says, an introduction to chemistry, including chemical reactions, stoichiometry, thermochemistry, gases, atomic structure, periodic trends, bonding, molecular structure, physical properties, and intermolecular forces. Now basically everything that I just listed in that course description are, well is, are, is one of them. It's the modules that you will go through every week in class and be tested on. And I'll get into that later. All right, general chemistry one drill. Although it is technically a separate class, you take it in conjunction with general chemistry one. So although you don't, you take lecture kids quizzes in general chemistry, but you're really quizzed on the material in your drill classes. And whatever grade you get in drill supplements your general chemistry one grade. It makes no sense, I'm sorry, but general chemistry one drill, drill you do not take for a credit. 
A drill is just basically a practice session where you go in and you get help. You take quizzes on the stuff that you're learning in chemistry to make sure you know it. And they give you time to reinforce it or, you know, go back and correct your answers, get extra points so that you can do well on the tests, basically. All right, General Chemistry 1 Lab, it basically serves the same function as General Biology 1 Lab. You learn stuff in chemistry, you test it out. All right, English. So, English. It's English. Um, your first English class here at Xavier is basically going to be an introduction to academic writing, whether you're taking like the regular classes or you're taking the honors level classes. You basically do the same thing. The only difference is reading material. Like for, I can speak for honors because I'm in the honors class. We have been basically reading Shakespeare. We read Shakespeare all up until maybe the middle of October. And now we're focusing on fairy tales and the different origins of them. And then from there, we're gonna move on to Metamorphosis. I'm not sure if y'all read that, but we're gonna read that and then, yeah. That's really the thing about English. We just read a lot of Shakespeare or I'm not really sure what they read in the regular classes, but you read and then there's a lot of essay writing that goes with it. All right, freshman seminar. So from what I've been told, the first semester of freshman seminar, what, and as I have experienced, is basically to get you acclimated to Xavier and to being in college. So you will read a book. All of the freshmen in the school will universally read the same book. And then depending on how your teacher has structured their class, you may have a discussion about whatever chapters of the book that you've been assigned to read for that week. Or like my class in particular, you might have to write a blog post on it every week and then discuss it in class. And I mean, along with that, you're supposed to go over like different things that freshmen should know for their first semester. Like for us, we went over things that we wish we would have known coming in. And we watched a couple videos on YouTube of that. Um, we discussed, you know, time management, how to stay on track, how to balance our lives here in college, how to adjust to college life. Um, just different things like that, things that are supposed to help you as you get into college. All right, so the last course will be whatever elective that you have been given. Now in the summer, maybe like the beginning of June, Xavier is gonna send you an email and it's basically a survey of what elective you would rather take. Now, you won't necessarily get whichever electives that you rank highest. All right, in the survey, what they basically do is rank a whole bunch of different categories and different classes within those categories. Like for example, you have communications, you'll have theology, you'll have history, you even have English on there. And then they list the different courses within those categories that are available to freshmen or courses in general that don't have prerequisites. And then you rank your favorite from like one being the most favorite to fourth being the least. And then from whichever ones you pick, if the courses are available, they will put you in one of your top ones that you listed. So the next thing is how many hours a week you should be studying. So during orientation, we had a meeting with the biology program here at Xavier. All the teachers that teach freshman level classes as well as the teachers that teach the upper level. And they basically told us that, you know, in order to be successful in the program here at Xavier, you would need to study about like 40 to 60 hours per week. And honestly, like going in, I thought they were exaggerating, but no, it's the truth. The material is not difficult at all. It's the same stuff that you've been learning throughout high school. It's just more in depth. And, you know, you may think that, oh, because I didn't study in high school, I won't need to study in college. That's not necessarily the case. And you know, I know that everybody says that in these college advice videos, but it's really the truth. Like, what differentiates an A student from a B student may be something as simple as knowing a little bit more details. In high school, especially for me, I figured it out pretty early that in order to be successful, all you really needed to do was memorize it. Because that's all they do in high school is test your memorization. That's simply it. But in college, it's more application-based. How well can you apply what you learned? If you don't learn it, if you only memorize it, that'll only get you so far. So yes, you need to study. Do it a little bit every day. That's what I've been trying to do for the past couple weeks. For biology specifically, I'll take the whole chapter of notes Monday through Thursday. And then over the weekend, I just, I study a little bit of this, study a little bit of that, study a little bit of this, study a little bit of that. Because when you go to class, it shouldn't be the first time you get the material. If anything, you should already know it and it should be a review. Because I mean, you don't want to get behind. And then you got all these classes and 
It's a mess. How does that work with the honors classes? That's something I'm still trying to figure out to this day. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. And here we are, it's almost November. I can say that it's not difficult. I don't give as much time to my lab classes, like the chemistry lab and biology lab and even foundations of biology since it's considered to be a lab. But I will say that for those classes, since you only have them once a week, you don't need to review that much. At least like 15 minutes every day, just go over your stuff to make sure you know it. But as far as your general chemistry lecture, general biology lecture, for biology, like I said, I'm sitting there, I'm studying every day. I would sit there and study anywhere from like 30 minutes to like two hours, just making sure I know the stuff because they will literally ask you anything. And it's just, it's really, it's crucial that you know it. Not only for now, but as you matriculate through Xavier, the things that you're learning right now are basically providing a foundation for everything that you will learn. So, I mean, if you don't understand it now, you can be up a creek, baby. But, I mean, as far as my honors classes, they are very demanding, especially I'm taking English honors and history honors. The material is not difficult at all. For English, if anything, like although we do have a lot of papers, well, we have four. They're very heavy, dense papers. So, I mean, we know that they're coming up at least like three to four weeks in advance and we have time to start working on them. But while we're also working on those papers outside of class, we're reading all this great stuff within class. And it's just really important that you give yourself time to read and take notes on it. And yes, something as simple as, you know, we're reading fairy tales right now. Us reading the different um, variants of Snow White. Take notes on it because they will give you quizzes on your notes in English, English honors. If you have Hennessy, he will let you use your notes. Make sure you take good notes because his reading quizzes will honestly ask very minute, finite details. And if you didn't take notes on it, if you don't remember reading it, that's it. Throw the whole class away. <laughs> but I mean, as far as history honors, it's not hard at all. Going in, it may seem like a lot, but I mean, basically the structure of the class is, we have these three books. You might have to read like two to three pages in one book and have a short quiz on it for Tuesday, because I have it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So on Tuesday. And then in either of our other two books, you might have to read a whole chapter of the book. And you might either have a quiz on it or you might have to turn in a journal on it. So you just have to find time to read for English read for history and write the essays, study for science, you know? And like, as far as allotting my time to do all of these things, because, I mean, it may not seem like a lot, but it's very time consuming. People, the people in my class especially, because we're all basically taking the same classes together. We find it difficult, but one thing that I realize, especially now looking back, that it's not impossible. It's just really all about time management. If you can manage your time, if you can make time to do your homework, make time to study and actually retain what you're studying, you'll be fine, honestly. So another thing about the pre-med program here at Xavier are our advisor cards. Basically, they encourage you to go and see your advisor at least once a week. You'll write down all of your classes and then all of the grades that you get within that week. Take it to your advisor, go talk to your advisor, let them sign it. You bring it to both your chemistry drill class and your biology lecture class. When you bring it in, every time you bring it in with a, with a new signature, you'll get a check mark and that's one extra point that you can add to your grade at the end of the semester. Which is one thing I really like because, you know, it can really make the difference between the B and the A that you really want. So, I mean, don't rely on that, but it's also a good supplement to have. Like, just in case, you know, you're worried that, oh, you might end up with an 89.5 and you're scared that they're not gonna round up. Oh wait, look, you've been going to your advisor, you got all these signatures, you're good. Also, we have biology and chemistry resource centers here at Xavier, like I'm sure they do at any other college. One thing I really like about them is that not only can you go in within like any time throughout the day that they're open and get tutoring in any whichever subject, one thing I really like is that they conduct review sessions like every week, like the chemistry review sessions are typically on Sundays at one o'clock, so now <laughs> and then the biology review sessions are typically on Tuesdays at 6 and 
they won't teach you the material, but they'll reinforce it for you. And they make sure that you know it. It doesn't matter how many questions you ask. It doesn't matter how long. Like they will sit there and the tutors will work with you to make sure that you understand the material. Another thing about Xavier and the pre-med program is the pre-med program. So every Monday, there's a freshman pre-med meeting and the material that you get here at the pre-med meetings are just, it's phenomenal. Like, one meeting we may talk about how to finance medical school. One meeting might be about the, y'all, my camera cut off. But like I was saying, you know, the different pre-med meetings that we attend are geared toward different things. Like one could be about summer enrichment programs and how to apply. Others could be about how to professionally contact medical personnel, you know, your family doctors, family friend doctors, on, you know, how to professionally contact them and ask them if you could get experience shadowing them and stuff like that. And, you know, that's really what I appreciate about Xavier. Like, not only are they putting you in contact with these people, these alumni, just regular hospitals, regular medical schools from day one, they're giving you the steps and they're showing you exactly what you need to do every semester from the time you get here to the time you leave every summer that you get here from the time that you leave. They're telling you everything that you need to do in order to go on to medical school and to be successful. And not only that, they're showing you what to expect as you get to medical school. Like one of the first meetings we went to, they gave us a handout on not only things that you should be doing, you know, every semester, every summer, like I said, but there was one on what to expect in medical school, your first semester of your first year, second semester of your first year, and so on and so forth. And I mean, honestly, you're not going to get that anywhere. Not at any other HBCU, not at any other PWI, not at any other anywhere only here at Xavier. You know, that really shows that they care about you. They want you to succeed. They want you to go into medical school. They want you to be great. But in order to do that, you have to follow the steps that they're giving you. And they're giving it to you. Like, honestly, at other schools, especially like if you were at a large state school, you would have to really have connections to get access to this information. But here at Xavier, they're giving it to you straight out the gate. All you gotta do is put your feet on the ground, tie your shoes, and hit the ground running, and you will be there. So yes, guys, that is the end of this video. That's all I have left. If you guys have any comments, any questions, any concerns, any video requests, anything you need me to clarify, anything you want more information on, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll get that to you. Also in the description box, I am gonna put a link to this current year's course catalog so that you can go and see the different courses and their descriptions, things that you will be taking as you matriculate here through Xavier. And also, I want to give a special thank you to Emily. Thank you for requesting this video. I really enjoyed making it. I hope that it was everything that you expected it to be. I hope that I was as descriptive as you needed me to be. But that's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!